How's it going today? This is Jeff Mummert from Mad MMAD, and I'm here to help you guys identify OEM, five valve, YFZ, YFZR, YZ uh, camshafts. Um, I'm doing this so that you guys who like to retrofit cams into the other bikes, mainly a lot of people are wanting to change cams in the Y of ZRs, especially the 2014 and later models. Um, but this is going to help you guys kind of identify what you guys are trying to buy if you're buying something off of eBay or, you know, some forum, Facebook, whatever. Um, basically, the way it works is that when you identify these camshafts, um, there's like right here, the small diameter flange. This is all of the early stuff. And these flanges were about an inch and 50 thousandths and they were round, okay? And that lasted all the way to about 2009, about here to this point. And then after 2009, they went to this flange here. This is a bigger flange, it's a bigger OD. But the real obvious thing is, is the flat spot. Okay, and that's the first thing you need to know when you're decoding your camshafts. Are you the smaller round flange? Or do you have the bigger, I believe this is about inch and an eighth, 1.125 diameter with flat spot. So, starts on the right with your earliest stuff. If you have a round flange, small diameter, and no markings on the shaft, then this is cams from a 2003 YZ450, uh, 2004, 2005 YFZ. Okay, now there's, there's a lot of subtle changes in here, but I'm just kinda giving you guys uh, quick identifiers on the camshafts. So, typically they did them in pairs. The intake cam, three lobes, Small round flange, no grooves, no nothing on the shaft. Okay, so early, early stuff right here. And the early cams, if they came in quads, had a decompression pin, decomp pin, and it had a scooped in top like this. And these have the highest cranking compression at starting. They're the shortest pin. Okay, so then you move on to 2006, the first year of the True 450. Um, so it's a small round flange, the inch 050 flange, no flat spot, and they went to a single groove identifier. Okay, now in my experience, having worked on these engines for almost 20 years, cam doctoring cams, whole nine yards. There's virtually no difference in these two cam sets as far as the lobes go. The only difference that I can really see is that they switched the decompression pin to the later pin, which has a nipple on top. This pin from the actuator groove here down to the ball on the bottom is about 15 thousandths longer. This pin is current. So it started around 2006 and it's still current today, 2023, in the ATVs, okay? So then you move uh, to, <clears throat> now the YZs guys, the YZs are pretty in depth. I mean, you could almost do a whole video on YZ cams alone, but this is a 2008, 2009 YZ450 cam dirt bike. So it's got the small round flange, but it's got one single wide identifier that's really, you know, wide, about a quarter inch wide. And the exhaust cam obviously matches it. And there again, there's virtually no difference on these early lobes as far as a performance consideration goes. Um, all of these early cams are essentially the performance cams. And the intakes are about 247 at 50. And I want to say they're in the mid 340 lift range. The exhausts are about 252 at 50. And they're high 330, 
337, 338 left on virtually all these. So the real big difference in the YZ cams and the quad stuff is there's two things. Mainly the first one is the decomp pin. Any YZ cams had a more aggressive decomp pin for the Kickstarters. And on the top, you'll see this. If I can get this in here well. YZ pins are flat and then they have a bevel on the uh, side. So if you see a pin that looks like that, that's a very aggressive pin. It's gonna have the lowest uh, cranking compression. Now that's good with kickstarters, but that can cause problems sometimes with electric start bikes. If the cranking compression gets too low, they'll just sit and crank and crank and crank and they won't try to hit, they won't try to fire. So, that, but these decomp pins, that is how you adjust the cranking compression. Minor changes can be made with the lash. So, once you get away, now going back to the YZ real quick, uh, the decomp pin is one of the changes. And the uh, intake center line, okay? The quads had about a 107 degree intake center line, 108, something like that. And they pretty much didn't change that all through the carburetor years. 04 to 09-ish. Even I think that 2010 YZX or whatever, the irrelevant, but 107. So in the first years of the YZ, they had, I believe the blank camshafts like this, small flange, no markings. And they were just like the quad, about 107 degrees. Okay, now by the time you get here to 08, 09, they were advanced all the way to about 100. So like seven or eight degrees advanced. And if you want to call 03 the first year of the YZ and 09 the last, um, call say roughly 06 is the middle, you know, they were in about the middle position. They were about 104. So they just basically kept advancing the cams. And that's good for making the bikes come out of the hole really hard. But when you advance a cam that far, it will hurt the top end. So, you know, you have to understand the logic of the dirt bike is that they ne weren't necessarily trying to build top end drag machines as much as they were trying to build explosive things that would come out of the corner so they could hit the, the triple um so that kind of sums up the early model stuff once you get to here this is the first yfzr cam and the yfzr has the bigger diameter flange and the flat spot this is identified with three grooves right here um, I'm not going to get into WR stuff much I don't know much about WRs I just don't get really a lot of calls for them so this may be something like they put in WRs I don't know I'm not gonna make any claims to it or not um, this cam is low performance this is not something you want to look for if you see the three grooves it's pretty much the only one with three grooves you don't even need to know about the flange and the intake cam is not performance. Now, uh, the exhaust cam is. The exhaust cam, three grooves, flat spot, big diameter. This is the exact same lobe as all of the carbureted engines. So from 2009 to 2013, the YFZRs had a good exhaust lobe. And these... Uh, use the same gear, the six teeth between the dots on the exhaust as the uh, Y of Z, but they physically rotated the gear and they actually put these in cam mod. So if you see a cam like this with the three grooves and the two lobes exhaust, this is in cam mod when you line the dot up with the head. 
okay this is actually a fairly good cam pretty interesting it had the uh, nipple pin like early to current like 06 to current um, then you get to 2014 2014 and this is why it's important to understand the flange because they went back to a single groove identifier just like these 06s but because the flange has a distinctive mark of the flat spot you know essentially to recalibrate and that the this mark this flange overrides this mark so you got to know the flange first then the mark so these are 2014 and later uh, Y of ZR cams and the intake is low performance not special and what they did is in 2014 they basically did a low performance not special exhaust so on the 2014 and laters you have to um, typically change both cams if you're looking for earlier model performance um, the 09 to 12 had a good exhaust cam on the YFZR 14 and later both cams no good so if you want to know how to identify the gears the intakes actually the best to look at and the intake never changed and so what I mean by that is that you can see they have the two dots and the way I do it is I can um, there's seven teeth between the dots so one dots on a tooth one dots in a root once you cover up the dots you'll see the seven teeth okay when they first came out with the YZ because the YZ 450 was a performance bike uh, the exhaust gear looked just like the intake only in reverse the dots were on the opposite side um, but they had seven teeth between the dots and then as everybody knows when they did the quads they had And all they did was they just redotted the gear. They raised this dot, which made you then roll the cam forward to line up with the head, advancing the cam. And that's the common reason that when you cam mod and you roll it back one tooth, it'll be a dot high. Um, so that's the kind of things you need to know uh, cam mod, I'm not going to go into that. That's something there's a million videos on that But it's just kind of a reference to understand it um, This is the odd duck This is the 2012 the cheap Y of Z cam 2012 to 16 I believe big base circle. Okay, these are not compatible with any of the titanium valve bikes uh, the valve the titanium valves are too long so when they did the stainless valve conversion, they actually made the valves shorter to help get some weight off of my gas. But these work as far as gears and bearings. If you need some cores, uh, you can get these for gears and bearings. But uh, the decomp pin will be too long. So your whoever does your cams for you may charge you a small fee to put in a proper decomp pin. Um, and they may not I don't know but it's just something where the gears and bearings are correct decompression mechanism release parts are correct so um, anyway I think we covered a lot of it like I said we showed you the decomp pins um, the WR on a side reference I don't get into WR stuff much at all I just don't get calls but there is a fourth pin that I've seen come in WR bikes and it kind of looks like the nipple pin but the nipple is shorter and it's fatter and it's actually a very um aggressive pin i think it's almost more aggressive than the kickstarter pin um you may you may not run across it much but if you do you do have to be careful with that pin because like I said it may drop when you start increasing the cam timing 
may drop the cranking compression too low for the bike to fire. So anyway, guys, I hope this helps you out. And uh, I'm going to do a couple more tech video. Oh, oh shit. I'm not done. Um, this is the one I want to show you right here. This is one of the reasons I'm actually making the video. I wanted to do it anyway. But this is a replacement camshaft. Okay, so what we know is that it's got the big diameter flat spotted uh, flange. So it's a late model core, but it has no markings. It's unlike any of the other cams. And once I started looking at it, if you look at them, you see them all day, every day, you know, I'm like, oh, this thing has the big lobe on it. So I actually talked to the customer about it. And I'm like, what, where'd you get this? And he said this was a 2006 OEM replacement camshaft. Um, and so I got curious and I went and I actually put it on my camshaft gear installer for the cams that we sell. And sure enough, it was degreed in about 104 degrees, which would put it right in the middle of the YZ range. And was a pretty good indicator to me that it was an 06 YZ replacement cam. So um, that's one thing I wanted to show you guys is that all of these cams out here were uh, showroom floor, you know, current production at the time cams. So you may find some cams floating out there these days that have older lobe and cam to green specs on them but are on the newer core and if you see that chances are that is a late model um factory replacement cam so anyway guys hope this helps and uh we'll do another video probably next one will be on big bore cylinders seems like we got good ones and bad ones